Star Wars. You and your children loved it. Now the Earthlings at Kenner have asked my associate and me to present the Star Wars collection. Truly remarkable toys and games for your children. What are you so excited about now? My goodness, the Star Wars TIE Fighter and X-Wing Fighter. Now your children can relive our great space battles or collect our wonderful Star Wars companions with Kenner's Star Wars action figures. R2, it's a little you. Kenner's new radio-controlled R2-D2 anyone can command. Ah, the Star Wars land speeder that moves like it's floating. And here's Kenner's Death Star space station, four floors of action, a trash compactor too. Listen, R2, that's the Star Wars electronic laser battle, a game of speed, reflex, and reaction. These and other toys and games in Kenner's Star Wars collection are sold separately. Batteries are not included. May the force be with you and your children. Because of the following special program, Wonder Woman and the Incredible Hulk will not be presented this evening. Solo. Carrie Fisher as Princess Leia. With Anthony Daniels as C3PO. Peter Mayhew as Chewbacca. R2D2 as R2D2. And James Earl Jones as the voice of Darth Vader. Introducing Chewbacca's family. His wife, Mala. His father, Itchy. His son, Lumpy. With special guest stars, Beatrice Arthur. Art Carney. Diane Carroll. The Jefferson Starship. Harvey Corman. And an animated Star Wars story on the Star Wars Holiday Special. The Star Wars Holiday Special, sponsored by General Motors. People building transportation to serve people.
Of this. Let me get this fixed. Oh, R2, you're supposed to be watching that. In there. That ought to hold it, I think. What's up? Hey, Chewbacca. Yeah, we'll bring him to the screen. I want to say hello to him. You, you don't know where he is? Oh, he's not there yet. Is that it? All I can tell you is that uh, he and Han left here on schedule. If he's not there now, they're way overdue. Gee, there must have been trouble. R2, please, this is important. Now, now listen, calm down. I mean, you know how Han and Chewbacca are. Anything could have happened. They could have, they could have stopped off somewhere or been held up by an asteroid storm. Listen. I wouldn't worry about Chewbacca. I know him, and he hasn't missed a life day yet, right? <laughs> well, there you go. He's not going to miss this one either. It's just taking him a little bit longer to get there, that's all. He'll make it. Come on, don't look so worried. <laughs> now, Chewie's not going to want to come home to a house full of long faces, is he? Come on, Mala, let's see a little smile. Come on. <laughs> there, that's better. Try to enjoy your life day. I gotta get back to this engine. I think we might have it solved. Oh, R2! What are you doing? Oh, watch that, will you? Oh, look at that. Oh, no. Thank <laughs> you. 
See my identification? No, I'm off duty. I've come to look around your shop. Oh, good, good, good. Put around. Browse around. Make yourself the home. As you can see, I've got just about everything a man or Wookiee would want. Oh, here. Let me show you this. I really love this. Size aquarium. Wonderful, isn't it? And you could take it with you anyway. And the tank is a snap to clean. I hate fish. Well, so do I, as a matter of fact. I take a drink once in a while, but... I just thought I'd show you some of the stupid stuff those Wookiees purchased from me. Oh, there. There's a hot little item that seems to be moving pretty rapidly these days. Wall screen custom. Good to see you again. Don't say a word, madam. I know just why you're calling. You're wondering when that shaggy carpet you ordered will arrive at your home. Let me assure you, madam, it's on its way. You know, it was made especially for you by a little old woman four planets away. She did it all by herself. In fact, you might say she did it by hand. Solo. Though it's going to take some time to get to you. I know you understand. Mm. Understand, don't you? Mm. Terrific. By the way, uh, I'll be by later to drop off that extra photon energy pack. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. <laughs> What's the matter? Would you like this? Just a groomer. Just a groomer. A groomer. Just a groomer, you say? That's a lot more than that. Evidently, you haven't read the instructions of the warranty and the guarantee. Besides shaving and hair trimming, it's guaranteed to lift stains off clothing, faces, and hands. Cleans teeth, fingers, and toenails, washes eyes, pierces ears, calculates, modulates, and syncopates life rhythms, and can repeat the entire Imperial Penal Code, all 17 volumes, in half the time of the old XP-21. Just the thing to keep you squeaky clean. I use one of these all the time. Really? Well, not all the time, but... Some of the time. Oh, another outstanding uh, feature of this little model. You can recharge it by simply plugging it into any ordinary laser outlet. I'll take it. Good, I thought you would. Now, uh, would you like to pay me something for it or give me something in trade? I said I'll take it. That's a load off my mind. I thought I might embarrass you when I told you to accept it as a gift. I don't like embarrassing people. I don't like being embarrassed myself. That's why I don't like to embarrass people. I just said that. Just to grow money. We've ordered a blockade, a curfew, and started a search operation. It's just a matter of time before we find the rebels. I want the rebels located and identified, if it means searching every household in the system.
to be preparing a very succulent dish called Bantha Surprise. Uh -huh. It's not only a very hearty, nourishing dish, but it's very economical too. So all those hungry mouths in your household will be going, yummy, yum, on that tummy tum, <laughs> if you just follow along with me as I prepare this popular favorite. Now, today, I'm going to be using the tenderest cut of the bantha, the loin. The loin is very tasty and serves four nicely. But of course, if your family has a hearty appetite, I would suggest then that old popular holiday favorite, the bantha rump. Mmm, <laughs> very tender. Now we just slice into bite-sized morsels. But only you know the size of a bite in your family, eh? Oh, all right. Now it's time to put our mm. chunks into our pots. Nicely, nicely. Then we add a dash of legamo. Mmm, very good. Sprig of celery. Mmm, very nice. Little bit of tertium. Always nice. And, uh... Mmm! Those should be nice. And just a little whisper of Chelto. Oh, it's looking very nice. Uh, Guess what I forgot? Uh, a bit of the calorantrum root. Wonderful. Just adds that touch of piquancy. There we go. Very nice. Mm. Now we add enough liquid to cover. And guess what we are ready for now? The cooking. Step one, we stir the mixture. Stir, 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 stir. Stir, 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 stir. Very nice. Now, step two, while we're stirring, we also whip. Mm -hmm. So it's stir, whip, stir, whip, 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 stir. Stir, whip, stir, whip, 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 stir. Now, let's try it again together at an increased tempo because precision is very important in this recipe and we do want to have a fine consistency, don't we? Uh. So, and on the count of one. Stir, whip, stir, whip, 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 stir. Stir, whip, stir, whip, 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 stir. Come on, faster all together now. Cooking can be fun. Stir, whip, stir, whip, 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 stir. Stir, whip, stir, whip, 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 stir. Wow! Having fun, having fun. All right? Coming along nicely. Now, step three. We also have to beat. So, it's beat, 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 stir, whip, stir, whip, beat. Beat, stir. That's not right. I'm sorry. Stir, whip, stir, whip, 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 stir, beat. Stir, whip, stir, whip, 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 stir, beat. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Coming, coming along nicely. Mmm, starting to have a fine aroma. <laughs> ah! <sighs> Put it just in time. Now, at this time, I usually like to taste the broth. So we'll have a little taste and see how it's coming along. Mmm, a little bit more so. Should I be? Mm. A little tongue kill. One for the pot. Mmm, coming along. Very nice. Oh, wonderful! Coming along nicely. <laughs> It's worth the best. Out of the frying pan into the fire, huh, pal? How should I know we'd come out of hyperspace in the middle of an Imperial convoy? At least against these fighters, we've got more of a chance. However slim. I'll say that again. This is one life they won't soon forget. Wait. I lost control of the remote cannons. I'm going to have to run back and operate the Afghan manually. Stay on things here. Why do I always think that taking you home for life day is going to be easy? <laughs> A 
attention, all viewers. Due to suspected rebel activity on the Kazook planet, the Empire has declared martial law. A blockade has been set up around the planet. No ships will be permitted to land or take off until further no. <laughs> Proton pack, you know, for the, uh, the, the, what's this, the, what you might call it, the, the thingamabob. The mind evaporator, that's it, the mind evaporator. Boy, am I glad to see you folks. Oh, how my favorite Wookiees today. Why all the long, hairy faces? I made it through the Imperial Patrol tonight. If I made it, Chewie and Hanwell. Is this all a big hello I get? I brought you something special, short stuff. You want it? You got it. Happy life day. I love to make a Wookiee happy. And now for the lovely lady of the house. Happy life day. Now wait, wait, not so fast. What does an old friend get? Well. you might like this one of those that uh, oh, it's a real it's kind of hard to explain it's a uh, wow you know what i mean happy life day i do mean happy life day Oh, yes. 
I can feel my creation. <laughs> I'm getting your message. Are you getting mine? Oh, oh, we are excited, aren't we? Well, just relax. Just relax. Yeah. We can have a good time, can't we? Oh. Hmm. I'll tell you a secret. I find you adorable. I'll tell you a secret. I find you adorable. I find you adorable. I find you adorable. I don't need to ask how you find me. You see, I am your fantasy. I am your experience. I am your so experience, experience me. So experience. I am your pleasure. This so is enjoy our me together. This is our moment together in time. That we might turn this moment into an eternity.
Ah, I have made the connection. You may speak now if you wish. Mala, it's so good to see you. Happy Life Day. She says it may be a happy life day for you, but personally, she's seen happier ones. I, I don't want to tire the channels. So could you do me a favor and send either Chewbacca or Han Solo to the screen, please? She says that she would like to grant your request, but is quite unable to do so. You mean they haven't arrived yet? She says there has been no contact. Yes, I think I understand her message. That Imperial Patrol must be giving them more trouble than we bargained for. Mala, are, are you alone? If you would permit me. No, she says she is not alone. She's with a friend. Could he come to the screen, please? Good afternoon, ma'am. I'm Sondan. A local trader, a friend of the Rebellion, and a member of the Alliance. Oh, good. Look, I know I can count on you to take care of my friends until their leader returns. You'll do that for me, won't you? Yes, indeed, ma'am. That's what I'm here for. She's expressing her warmth towards the trader. Look, I can see you're in good hands, Mala. I'll contact you again soon. <laughs> Now then, what's that I smell? Could it be some of those famous wookie ookies? I told you we'd make it. Did I ever let you down? I feel the same way about you too, pal, and your family. Never seen so much imperial traffic in this system. You better land on the north side, it'll be safer there. So it's a long walk. A little exercise never hurt anybody. Happy life day, pal. Chewbacca now. This unit is occupied by four Wookiees, two adult males, one adult female, and one male child. Where is the other Wookiee male? <coughs> Officer, uh, maybe I could be of uh, some help there, sir. Who are you? And what are you doing in this Wookiee house? Oh, I'm the trader in this district, you see? The, uh... Uh, the truth of the matter is, she had a terrible fight with her husband, and he just stormed right out of Your here. identification? Uh, I said... Your identification? Oh, identification, yes. It's a very important thing, identification. I, I never leave the shop without my identification. It's, uh, it's very important, just in times like this. You see, I just found my identification. I think it's in my pocket there. Search the dwelling. Obviously, you may notice that little leather case that I carry my identification card in. Uh, I, I whipped that up myself. That's a pretty fast-selling little item. <laughs> Uh, 
And uh, you know, some people like to keep things neat and clean, and that's why uh, I have the little leather case for the identification card. As a matter of fact, if any of you guys uh, want uh, a couple of those leather cases, I've got a couple of extra ones there. Officer, that, uh, that picture you're looking at right now was taken quite a few years ago. That's uh, one of me. I've gained quite a bit of weight since then. <laughs> Hello, little guy. Where's your daddy? These things have no respect for authority. Oh. Excuse me, I beg your pardon. Maybe you know my brother's boy. He's a member of the Imperial uh, Militia. He must be 24 or 25 years old, but now he loves the service, right, little guy? Your identification is in order. You can go now. Thank you. Thank you very much. I just have a little more work to finish up here. And, uh, oh, by the way, uh, while I'm finishing up here, uh, why don't you boys uh, take it easy, relax, put your feet up, and uh, make yourself to home. Uh, Wookiee food isn't the greatest, but I'm sure that I can whip something up in the kitchen there that we can all eat. Uh, uh, you don't mind, do you, Mala? Mallow, you come on the kitchen and help me. That thing, that's a very delicate piece of work, Mitchell. All right, now, it's all right. Slightest jarring, I'll mess up the whole works. If you want to play around with it, let me show you how. Relax, I've got to turn it on, don't I? Just sit down and enjoy it. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay.
I knew you'd like it. Your work here is finished. You may leave now. I guess you're right. About all I can do for now. I hope you guys find what you're looking for. Keep up the good work. I'll... Hey, Chief. See you soon. <coughs> all right. Finish the search of the residence. Oh, I almost forgot. I want to leave you my card in case you need any... Uh, oh, okay, I'll leave Investigate the upper area. Check for any rebel material. Anything to connect this household with the Alliance. Oh, don't forget about these protective cases for your identification guard. I got a good item. That's it. I'm gone. Finish the search of this house. We have other areas to cover today. You take the upper area. <laughs> We don't want to have to hurt anyone. That's not what we're here for. But when my men get angry, I can't always control them. We are going to continue our search. Now keep him quiet. And don't forget this ever happened. Revenge, Captain Kizahan reporting. We are awaiting the return of Captain Han Solo and his first mate Chewbacca, who are long overdue on a delicate mission to acquire the mystical talisman, which has been sought by our forces and by the Empire. The talisman? It makes things invisible, I think. Yes, even you. Which I think might be an improvement. We picked up something. It's the Millennium Falcon. They're coming out of flight speed. I can't make contact. Try a lower channel. Falcon, do you copy? Come in, Falcon. It's Chewie, but where's Han? That's him hanging upside down. I can't make radio contact. He's on a collision course. Princess, we're in mortal danger from our own forces. Falcon, do you copy? This is bad. You're right, General. I can't understand what Chewbacca's doing. Whatever he's doing, there must be a reason. Hold your fire. We've lost all contact, sir. Stand by. The Falcon is near impact. I'm going after them. Luke, take R2 with you. What do he say? If something has happened to Captain Solo and Chewbacca is alone, you will need me to interpret. I know, but I don't think he means to hit us. Chewie's a better shot than that. Look, he's speeding up. We're losing him. Not for long. This is Y4 to base. He's heading straight for a moon in the Pana system. Hang on, R2. What about me? I'm going to shake a pot. We're approaching the water planet. We're following Han and Chewie. We lost them. Hang on, 3PO. We're going in. Are you sure this is the best way, sir? <laughs> Master Luke, sir, are you all right? Yes, how about our two? Our comm links are out. We can't contact the base. Where are you going, sir? To see if I can locate the Falcon by visual sighting. Maybe it's close by. R2, stand by to fire the injection pod. And hurry, R2, or we'll be desert soon. 
Two droids. We've come in search of a ship that crashed near here. Maybe I can help you. I am Boba Fett. The ship you seek is nearby. Are the Imperial troops near this planet? They are here, friend, and growing more powerful. Why? How far away? Settle down. <laughs> all they do is eat. This is all we have, but uh, he's welcome to it. You are foolish to waste your kindness on this dumb creature. No lower life form is worth going hungry for, friend. I take it you have no love of the Empire. I don't. Well, neither do I. It will be easy to find the ship you seek. Follow me, friend. Don't you think it might be imprudent to trust him so quickly, sir? He's our only chance. And besides, he seems like a friend. Indeed. Friend is merely a term that is often misused. Did R2 say that? Words to that effect. What did he do to Luke? He didn't do anything. R2-D2 has detected contamination. It must have come from the talisman. R2 says it's some kind of sleeping virus that only affects humans. He says the only way to keep them alive is to let the blood rush to their heads. I know this sleeping virus the Empire uses on its enemies. They have a remedy for it in the city. I can get some for you. I'm afraid Chewbacca insists on going with you. You will only get in the way. But if you must, come on. the serum for the sleeping virus, we had no idea of his real plan. I have made contact with the rebels and all is proceeding as you wish, Darth Vader. What is it now? What is it now? Or is that all? Just some silly game? <laughs> Their metabolisms are slowing down. I wonder what's keeping Chewbacca. Try to find them on the view screen. Darth Vader. Good work, but I want them alive. Now that you've gotten their trust, they may take you to their new base. This time we'll get them all. I see why they call you the best bounty hunter in the galaxy. Oh no, what will we do now? the serum. We must leave quickly, friend.
I'm not sure. What happened? I don't know. Well, somebody must know something. He says our friend Boba found serum for the talisman virus. Boba, you're a hero and a faithful friend. You must come back with us. What's the matter with R2? I'm afraid, sir, it's because you said Boba is a friend and faithful ally. That simply does not feed properly into R2's information bank. What are you talking about? We intercepted a message between Boba and Darth Vader, sir. Boba Fett is Darth Vader's right-hand man. I'm afraid this whole adventure has been an imperial plot. We'll meet again, friend. Trust the droid to get to the bottom of things. Boba sure fooled the rest of us. I beg your pardon, sir. Chewbacca suspected all along there was something bad about Boba. How did you know, Chewie? May I quote directly, sir? He just didn't smell right. <laughs> well, let's get off this galactic raindrop. Captain Kazan, Starlog Entry 324-1, signing off. May the Force be with you. Clean up your room. Keep him busy for a while. on the system Amorphia and this instruction cassette provided by the manufacturer. It offers a unique chance for consumers everywhere to meet an Amorphian being. The motor abilities of Amorphian citizens are frequently impaired by malfunctions which result in a temporary loss of power. This in no way reflects mm -hmm. on the safety of our product. Rather, it should serve as a guarantee of our high standard of long wear and durability. Thank you for selecting our brand of mini transmitter. 
if you assemble it properly, following the instructions I am about to give you. It will provide many years of fun and valuable service for you. But now, let's get started, shall we? First, find the sealed package containing all the tools you'll need. Ah. It looks like this. Try not to rip it open because it makes a very handy storage case for your tools until you need them again. Now, this is the first thing you'll need. Please be careful not to hurt yourself on the sharp edges. Ow. Now, find the circuit breaker module. Mm. And by the way, let's start calling these components by their proper names. Mm. Circuit breaker. Remember. Mm. Every one of the 10,000 terminals on your circuit breaker module is marked in a particular color. Beautiful, aren't they? <laughs> like a rainbow. These must be connected to the wires with the corresponding colors. So, red goes to red, blue goes to blue, and so on. Now, watch me closely. And we'll assemble our mini transmitters together. Let us work slowly or methodically because this is a job for doing well. Well, I see time is running out, so we better turn our attention to the assembly of the impulse to voice translator. The impulse to voice translator. The very heart of the mini transmitter, which converts electronic energy, which you provide, into any of a thousand recognizable languages. We must remain alert for this very complicated procedure. Endurance and concentration are the key words here, and the total utilization of our neurocranial synapses is absolutely essential. <laughs> is recommended by the Imperial Council in the belief that your commitment to remain upstanding citizens will be reinforced. It is required viewing for all members of the Imperial Forces. Time now for Life on Tatooine, brought to viewers everywhere in the hope that our own lives may be uplifted by the comparison and enriched with the gratitude of relief. This transmission is unrehearsed and unedited and is hereby begun without further comment as to its lack of moral value.
certainly not going to get rich with customers like you. I thought I taught you to drink faster than that. Well, at least you're steady. Oh, come on now, drink up. There's plenty more where that came from. What'll it be? Hello, Akmina. Okay, we'll do it your way. Hello. Now we'll do it my way. What'll it be? Can we talk? Well, of course we can talk. We are talking. You're not ordering. I'm not pouring. We are not drinking. We are talking. I'm moving this to make room for a drink so that next time I say, what'll it be? And you tell me, I can put it right there. Doesn't matter. Give me anything. I'll have one of those. I'm sorry I couldn't get back before. Uh, before what? Uh, until now. Until tonight, I thought about it a dozen times, but I had to be sure. Uh, excuse me, I have a customer waiting. I'll be right back. Come back soon. I'll be waiting. Akmina. How's your drink? It's all gone. Look, there's a flower on top of it. I see there is. Do you want another drink? Flowers for you. I wanted to bring you something, and that's all I could think of. I don't get many flowers, I know. But you didn't have to bring me anything. A, a... Krellman. Krellman, what a nice name. When I left here the other night, I felt something that I haven't felt in longer than I care to remember. I felt alive again. Someone made me feel like all the years I've lived have meant something. And all you said was six simple words. Come back soon. I'll be waiting. Well, after all, only words. Oh, I they were more than words. I knew that at the time. That's why I went home and thought and thought about what you said. Oh, what did I say? It, it doesn't matter, silly. What you said is not as important as what you meant. Oh, what did I mean? I decided what you meant was exactly the thing I needed to hear. Well, I'm glad about that. You know, it's funny. A man can live as long as I have, through all the ups and downs, and just when he thinks it's all over, someone cares for him again. I wasn't looking for that when I came in here. Maybe that's why it, it happened, because I wasn't asking for love anymore. I wasn't desperate. I wasn't begging, whining, groveling, sniveling. I just came in here for a drink, and I found a lot more. Uh, uh, Curlman, I... Curlman. Uh, uh, listen, uh, Curlman, you're, you're kind and, and sweet and, and terribly attractive, but if, if you're saying what I think you're saying, you felt you meant I thought you needed to hear, then I just have one thing to say I did not. Akmita, don't do this to me. Now, please, look, I have customers. Why don't you sit down, finish your drink, have another drink. This one's on me. Now, you stay just as long as you want. But I have business to attend to. I really have no time for anything else. You'll change your mind. I just know you will. Six simple little words. I can wait forever to hear it again. Because I know... Come back soon. I'll be waiting. Due to increased activity among subversive forces, we are placing a curfew on the entire Tatooine system effective immediately. All inhabitants will return to their homes at once. This order will remain in effect until further notice. <laughs> Okay, Barbarine, take a break. I don't know how long. Maybe, maybe forever. Closing me down again. Please, please, I have enough aggravation. All right, one more round before you leave, and this one's on me. Torque. See what the boys on the van stand for. Huh? 
Gentlemen, I don't know how to tell you this, but I guess the wall screen said it all. Was closed. Gentlemen, I guess you didn't hear what I said. The Empire has closed us down. Now, I know this sort of thing happens all the time. I, I'm sure it's just temporary. But... <laughs> Fellas, the party is over. <laughs> <laughs> Dare you. You stop that. Stop talk. It's all right. I'll reason. Kelly, Zutmore, come on, you guys. Haven't I always lent you money? <laughs> Bloodlow, Bloodlow, you of all creatures, please do me a favor and leave. Bloodlow, you're heartless. Thorpe, Thorpe, after all I've done for you. Short memory, eh, Thorpe? Short memory! Oh, listen, do you remember the time that... I don't believe we've met. We're closed! I said we're closed. Look, I'm sorry, we are closed. The Empire just imposed a curfew on this planet. Everybody has to leave right now. Now, Torque, I don't want any more trouble. If you take care of the door. All right. All right. All right. All right. I can take a hint. We'll have one more round. This one's on the house. We'll run a tab for the Empire. Just one more round, friend, then a homeward bound, friend, don't forget me in your dreams. Just one more song, friend, and then so long, friend, the nights get shorter, it seems. Just one more rhyme, friend, yes, it's a crime, friend, but you know time, friend, time can fly. So it's good night, friend. Good night, but not goodbye. Just one more drop, friend, before we stop. Friend. One more moment, face to face. Next time you're dry, friend, try stopping by, friend, if there's a light in the place. We may not thrive, friend, but we survive, friend. We're alive, friend, you and I. So say good night, friend. <clears throat> good night, but not goodbye.
You're such a dear friend. You know I'm here, friend. Is that a dear friend? In your eye. Now it's good night, friend. What? Good night, friend. Good night, but not... Message received and obeyed. We leave at once. You, stay here. There's a male missing from this household, and I want you to be here when he returns. It's possible he's one of the rebels we're looking for. Here's your daddy. Boy, is he groomed. It's okay, everybody. He's gone. How are you? Mom. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, huh? Your son's been doing you proud. You saved my tail more than a couple of times. Molly, I'd love to, but I can't. I gotta get back to the Falcon before somebody stumbles across her. Hey, will you look at Lumpy? He's sure grown, huh? I think his voice is changing. Come on, I'm just teasing. Well, well. I gotta go. Have a nice life day, but be careful. A lot of troopers in the area. Chewy, check and see if the coast is clear, will you?
know how to make a guy feel welcome. Glad you're home, Chewbacca. If you're looking for who I think you're looking for, forget him. We won't be bothered by him again. This is a general alert. Calling Officer B-4711. Officer B-4711. We are unable to reach you on your comm link. Is there a problem? You are instructed to turn on your comm link immediately. Wait, wait a minute. I think I can handle this. We have two-way communication, Trader Sondan. Is this a report about the missing trooper? It is, sir. Trooper B-4711 was here with three other men. They left and he remained. As soon as they had gone, he packed a lot of food from this house and he robbed me blind. Then he took off for the hills. Very well, we'll send out a search party. Thank you. <laughs> yes, sir. Identification is very important. Helps you maintain contact with the Empire at times like this. <laughs> for you. Have a wonderful celebration. And may the force be with you. that we were more than just mechanical beings and we're really alive so that we could share your feelings with you. Chewbacca! Chewbacca, we were so relieved to hear you were all right. All of you are an important part of my life, pal. I'm glad I could be here. This holiday is yours. 
where we all share with you the hope that this day brings us closer to freedom and to harmony and to peace. No matter how different we appear, we're all the same in our struggle against the powers of evil and darkness. I hope that this day will always be a day of joy in which we can reconfirm our dedication and our courage, and more than anything else, our love for one another. This is the promise of the Tree of Life.
They say it pays to advertise, but Marcy, Lisa, and Pam don't care for the way they're going to be used in an advertising campaign. So fasten your seatbelts for Flying High with guest stars Nancy Dassault, Lyle Wagner, and Bobby Sherman next. Wonder Woman, starring Linda Carter, and Incredible Hulk, starring Bill Bixby, will return at their regular times next Friday evening on most of these stations.